All right, Drake Riggs here with the scrap with Sergio Pettis making his Bellator debut on Saturday at Bellator 238 against Alfred Kashakian. Of course, that's why we're here, man. So I'm just curious, uh, Sergio, was it difficult at all making the decision to you know, leave the UFC? Because that's where a lot of people dream to be. Obviously, you know, that's the goal growing up. You can watch all the ultimate fire and everything. So was that decision a tough one? You know what? It, I would say it was tough. Um, you know, I had a lot of goals and a lot of... A lot of things that I wanted to do in the UFC, but you know, when I'm 26 years old, man, I was like, I left the UFC on a W. You know, it's yeah. not like it's not like I like got cut or anything. It's just I left out of my decision to leave. Um, it's a good opportunity here in Bellator, so why not, man? I'm, I'm 26 years old. I want to make my name anywhere I can make it. At the end of the day, I'm a mixed martial artist. I'm not a UFC fighter. I'm not, you know, wherever the, the name is, I'm a mixed martial artist. If I get a fight on the highest level, it's fighting the highest competition. That's what I want. Mm -hmm. Well said. And, you know, was Bellator always the option or, like, somebody else you were kind of leaning towards? It was like, all right, these guys. Yeah, let's uh, Yeah, there was a couple options, and then um, it kind of just everything directed towards where I am now. So mm -hmm. um, I'm here now, man. That's yeah, all that matters. Of yeah. course. And, you know, the cool thing about Bellator in 2020, I think, is that, you know, so many options, like, compared to the UFC, uh, like, Bellator's doing the tournaments, yeah, you know. Yeah. Then there's the Ryzen collaboration. You can go over yeah, there, yeah. fight in Japan. That that was probably a little enticing, right? Because oh, you can know, do sure. some more stuff. For sure, man. I've I've only fought in the U.S. too, you know. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, in Mexico, Mexico City is cool. But uh, if I get a chance to fight out in fucking Thailand or I mean, uh, Tokyo or wherever else yeah. they're going, I, I would love to. <laughs> wherever they're going. Awesome. And you know, like you said, still just 26 years old, but you got so much experience, man. Like I think a lot of people don't realize what around 25 fights ish getting yeah, getting there. 23, 23. Okay, Jordan close. Fights. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so just curious, man. Still growing, but like, what has been the biggest learning experience so far for you? If if you can pinpoint one thing, or just like, yeah, what have you learned the most? Uh, the most thing I've learned is you can't take it too serious, man. Like it, this job is already serious. You know, it's going in a fight is serious. So. You gotta have fun. When I have fun, I'm loose, and that's my style. Loose, fluid style. So, uh, you know, no more stress, and no more expectations. Just going out there and do what I do best. Very nice, very nice. I'm just curious, is there somebody you would say has been your toughest opponent so far, if you can think of anybody specifically? Um, I, in, in all different ways, they, they were tough. Um, Suhudo, obviously, a tough opponent. Um, triple C now, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a, that not, was a, anymore. not anymore. Not anymore. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, double C, double C, <laughs> yeah. whatever it is. But, uh, you know, um, I would say Suhudo was a tough fight. It taught me a lot. Um, didn't get too beat up, got held down, but it taught me a lot, you know. Yeah, and, you know, for your opponent here, we're in Alfred. He's, uh, you know, another good guy. I think people don't realize, you know, he's he's got a good streak going. Yeah, yeah. He's got some good wins under his belt. Only lost to, like, some of the better guys like yeah. Archuleta, uh, you know, some others I'm forgetting here on the spot. But, you know, where do you rank him? Maybe not compared to other people, but what are your thoughts on him overall as an opponent? You know, not getting maybe... He's not as known as some other guys. So yeah, he's man. Um, he's not as known, but he's definitely his skill set is good. I've been watching his fights, um, his mentality. He's a tough guy. He's gonna come out there and try to fuck me up. So I'm excited, man. Uh, I, I would say um, every fight's tough in their own way, and this fight's gonna be tough. Do you think that aggressive opponents kind of play into your style? Because you know you're usually the more technical guy out yeah. there. Like you look at the Moreno fight. I think that's a great example of you know when you're just handling somebody who's just trying to bring it yeah, so yeah. I think that kind of plays into your favor if he just comes at you yeah I think uh, I think he's gonna go out there like I said he's gonna try to put some uh, some pressure on me and he's gonna realize that I'm fluent out there he's gonna have to try some new some different go outside of his realm and that's when he goes into my realm so awesome yep. and just curious big main event featherweight title online Chris Cyborg Julia Bud. you got a prediction there I'm gonna have to go with Cyborg you know um, uh, I've been watching Cyborg fight her, her whole life pretty much, you know, so I would say Cyborg. Mm -hmm. I don't know Julia too well, so I, I couldn't judge it, but just based off how tough Cyborg is, I'm going to have to go with Cyborg. Fair enough, fair enough.